Would you like to hear a story about a sweet little fairy? Then hush now. Hush, hush, I say. When I say crick, you say crack. Let's try. your heart? Is it beating? Blink your eyes. Are your eyes seeing? Tap your ears. Are your ears listening? Good. Once upon a time, not too long ago, as long ago as yesterday and not very far away, there lived a tiny fairy in the middle of London City. Her name was Mangalina. 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 Mangalina had a huge heart and blinkingly fast wings like her hummingbird family. She could fly faster than a blink. So, Mangalina, she dips, slides, and glides in the sky. Dips, slides, and glides in the sky. Dips, slides, and glides Angelina woke up from a deep sleep and stretched her arms wide, wide, wide. And she smiled wide, wide, wide. Because today was Carnival Day and the parade would be passing outside her large living room window. Mmm. She remembers the smell of jerk chicken and hearing the sound of the beat of a thousand feet dancing in the street and the ting 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 and the ping ting ting and the ping ting ting of the steel pan drums on the truck passing below. She would look around and see all people dressed up like rainbow-colored butterflies in silk gold dresses. She would see women, men and children all dressed up 
and she would see characters. She would see Mr. Monko Jumbi, who walked around on stilts, whose head could touch the sky. And characters like Mr. Shortney, with thousands of mirrors all over his clothes. And the Carnival King, with his multicolored crown upon his head. And Miss Midnight Rubber, with her wide black hat, wide like an umbrella, speaking poetry that sounds like spells. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Mangalina went to a large living room window and could see the people dancing, hearing the sounds and sights of the carnival. She pressed her hands up against the window and felt the boom, 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 the boom, 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 the boom, boom, boom of the bass from the big black speakers below. She would see people, some people dressed up like dragons and they would have feathers all over their bodies. Some of them have feathers on their heads, on their backs, on their arms, on their legs. And the sight of all of these things made Mangalina want to fly. Um, it, it made Mangalina want to fly! Oh. Um, it made Mangalina want to... No wings. No wings. No wings. Losing her wings was like losing her lips. Losing her wings was like losing her fingers. Losing her wings was like losing her toes. What good is a fairy without their wings? And now, Mangalina, she cannot dip, slide, and glide in the sky. She cannot dip, slide, and glide in the sky. No wings. No wings. No wings. What's that sound? Then Mangalina saw Mr. Monko Jumbi, who walked around on stilts and head could touch the sky. Mr. Monko Jumbi. Maybe he can help me find my wings. Hello, Mr. Monko Jumbi. Hmm? 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 I'm Mangalina, the fairy, and I've lost my wings. Please, can you help me find them? Hello, Mangalina. I can try. So Mr. Monko Jumpy looked up to the sky. Hmm? 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 He looked low to the ground. Hmm? 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 He looked over to one side. Hmm? 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 He looked over to the other. He looked all around. Hmm. 
but he could see no sign of Mangalina's wings. Hmm. Sorry, Mangalina. I cannot see your wings. Maybe Mr. Shortney can help you. And with that, Mr. Monko Jumbi went away. Then Mangalina saw Mr. Shortney with thousands of mirrors all over his clothes. <gasps> Mr. Shortney, maybe he can help me find my wings. Hello, Mr. Shortney. Eh? Uh. Oh, I'm Mangalina, the fairy, and I, I've lost my wings. Please, can you help me find them? Hello, Mangalina. <laughs> I can try. So Mr. Shortney checked his mirrors that faced up to the sky. Woo! 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 He checked his mirrors that faced down to the ground. He checked his mirrors that faced one side. Woo! 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 He checked his mirrors that faced the other side. Woo! 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 He checked his mirrors and looked all around. Woo! 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 No matter where he looked, he could not see Mangalina's wings. Sorry, Mangalina. I cannot see your wings. Maybe the Carnival King can help you. And with that, Mr. Shortney went away. Mangalina? Mangalina? Mangalina could hear the voices of her four best fairy friends. Naisha, Amatrine, Echo, and Sita. Mangalina? Mangalina? Come and play with us. No, I'm looking for something. Can we help you find it? No, go away 
and leave me alone. Oh. No wings. No wings. No wings. What am I to do? Can't find any wings. It's carnival. How am I supposed to go and enjoy carnival? Everybody's got wings but not me. What am I to do? I just want to go and enjoy the carnival. Go and fly. Go and fly. What's the matter, Mangalina? It was the carnival king with his multicolored crown upon his head. Hello, carnival king. I'm Mangalina the fairy. I, I've lost my wings. Please, can you help me find them? Hello, Mangalina. I can try. Birds. Mangalina has lost her wings. Can we help her find them? So, all the birds of the sky, the swallows, the blue tits, the robins, the ravens, blackbirds, bluebirds, all birds went searching as far as they could see. They flew high, high, high in the sky. Then they flew low, low, low to the ground. Then they flew over to one side. Then they flew to the other side. Then they flew all around. But there was no sign of Mangalina's wings. Sorry, Mangalina. We cannot find your wings. Maybe Miss Midnight Robber could help you. With that, the Carnival King and the birds went away. What's the matter, Mangalina? said Miss Midnight Robber with her wide black hat, wide like an umbrella. <laughs> Hello, Miss Midnight Robber. I'm Mangalina the Fairy and I... I've lost my wings. Please, can you help me find them? Hello, Mangalina. I can try. Let me try my pockets of treasure. Oh, oh, another pocket of treasure. Oh, oh, uh, let me try my poetry spells. Ooh. Midnight Rubber and her spells searched high, high to the sky. 
and then low, low to the ground. Then far, far to one side. And far, far to the other side. And they searched all around. But no matter where they went, they could see no sign of Mangalina's wings. Oh, let me try one more spell. Oh! the sound of the steel pan drummers Get to twirl and unfurl this morning. Ah, oh, that's what it is. You forgot to twirl and unfurl. You silly little fairy, you did not lose your wings. Now twirl and unfurl and show your wings to the world. Twirl and unfurl, Mangalina. That's it. Can you help her? Can you say? Twirl and unfurl. That's it. Again. Twirl and unfurl. That's what Mangalina needs to do. To get her wings, she needs to twirl and unfurl. Go on, Mangalina. Twirl and unfurl. Can you say it again? That's it. And Mangalina, she twirled and unfurled, and soon, to the beat of the drum, Mangalina regained her wings, and she was dipping and sliding and gliding in the sky. Dipping and sliding and gliding and saw all the people of the carnival and people she had seen before. She had seen Mr. Monko Jumpy and Mrs. Shortney and the carnival king and Miss And 
Magdalena was flying and hearing the sounds and seeing the sights of the beautiful carnival day as she dipped, slided, and glided in the sky. Oh, Magdalena! a day it was when Mangalina regained her wings and joined in with the wonders and sights of the carnival. But now our story comes to an end. But our story ends happily, happily, happily. Thank you. Mangalina thanks you. In fact, Mangalina, Mangalina, take a bow. <laughs>